Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark, Maddie's father. I don't know if it's harder getting married or doing the father of the bride speech. On behalf of my wife, Anne, and Anthony's parents, we want to thank you all for coming and sharing this moment with my daughter and Anthony. I believe everyone could agree that this is a wedding to remember that Maddie and Anthony put together for all of us to celebrate. From the most important part, the wedding ceremony, with a wonderful rendition of Ave Maria, sung by Maddie's sister, Cece. <laughs> to now a celebration with family and friends, great food, and the best type of music, wow. live music! <laughs> So I have prepared a very funny and somewhat embarrassing wedding speech, but as I've learned over my 34 years of marriage, a happy wife makes for a happy life, so I'm reading this one instead. <laughs> over the past months, I kept being asked, are you all set with your father of the bride speech? I've gone through quite a few revisions, and I've practiced this speech many times, so that when Anthony starts to cry, I won't get too emotional. I wanted to start with three dates that stick out for me in regards to my life with Maddie and my wife, Anne. First, April 21st, 1990, the day Anne and I were married almost 34 years ago. Second, May 20th, 1997, the day Maddie was born. I admit it was at that exact moment that I realized through the miracle of life that God does exist. How can he make a child so precious? So God kept reminding me of that one fact four more times. From the time Maddie was born, it was a learning curve, as I had no experience with babies before that time. But if there was a book, Maddie hit all the milestones. My fondest memories are holding her like a football when she was a baby, watching her learn to walk, reading books all the time, writing a Christmas medley for her saxophone section in high school, and of me reading Puff the Magic Dragon to her on the rocker and wondering who she would be. The suspense was killing me. Anne and I thought, eh, maybe a nun. But Maddie chose a path I think more suited to her. Maddie is very analytical in her approach to life, the main event planner, and she was always there for her siblings and caring of her family. Maddie tackles obstacles, and always seems, always seems to find a solution. She is compassionate and always open to compromise, especially if it helps to keep the peace. Thanks to me, she loves Star Wars. I'm OG Star Wars. Maddie, unfortunately, also accepts all the new alternate universes. The third date is October 3rd, 2022, the day Anthony met me at the next whiskey bar in Lyle, Illinois, to ask me a few computer questions, and to have a few old fashions. Anthony knows I love a good bourbon, but having been around the block a few times, I had a feeling it wasn't about computers. He met me in a very traditional way if I would give my consent to him to ask my daughter, Mary, Maddie, to marry, to marry him. We talked for over two hours. While listening to Anthony speak directly from his heart, I could tell that he loved Maddie Madly, no, it's, a, it's a bad dad joke, and would do anything for her and would be a great protector of her and their future family. How could I say no? He had me at, Mr. Johnson, I love your daughter Maddie so much. I have to marry her. I can't imagine my life without her. And he also said to me, Maddie said I couldn't ask her officially until I gave him my blessing. What a smart daughter. <laughs> Maddie had certain core beliefs for who she would consider marrying. They must be Catholic, must be open to having children, the more the better, must be respectful of her, of, her, of her and her family. Anthony checked all the boxes. But on a serious note, I want to finally admit in front of everyone present that Anthony was not Maddie's first choice. Oh no, about 22 years ago, while sitting at the kitchen table, Maddie looked at me with her loving eyes and said, Daddy, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> but after some discussions that mom had already married me and daughters not marrying their fathers, I'm glad she found a very competent substitute for me 
and someone more than capable of being the closest man in her life. I see Anthony as our sixth child and a second son. He is a very respectful young man. Obviously, his parents raised him right. My son Luke is lucky to have him as a brother-in-law. And speaking in Luke's language when he was two years old, Mama's other three sisters, E.C., Leela, and Biba, I know they feel the same. And we still call them that today. Over the years, I could see that Maddie and Anthony are great compliments to each other as a couple. Anthony has always shown respect and appreciation. Well, at least when he's been around me. But especially when Maddie has made detailed plans. See, Anthony already knows, happy wife, happy life. Maddie and Anthony, I want to share some life lessons that have followed in this order will help to make your marriage strong and fulfilling, in my humble opinion. First, always be Christ-focused. Ask God for guidance. Lean on him when things are going smooth, not just when they're going rough. Families that pray together, stay together. Going to church and praying has always been important to Maddie and our family. Second, your marriage. Your marriage and your future children should be your main focus after God. Marriage takes work. You don't coast along thinking everything's going to just fall into place. Trust me, it doesn't. But if you take your time and effort, you'll be happy together forever. Third, while your work life is important for you to provide for your family, always keep God and your family in the forefront. I'm happy for both of you, and thank you for checking an item off my bucket list, my first child's wedding. Four more to go. <laughs> now onto one of Anne's bucket list items, grandkids. At least five to tie us. <laughs> and if my calculations are correct, if you have a wonderful honeymoon, that around January 15th, 2025, <laughs> should be another date for me to remember. <laughs> Finally, from experience, I would like to review a few quick phrases for you to remember to help you survive your marriage. Maddie, practice saying, I'm so glad I married you. What would you do without me? But never say, well, that's not how my dad did it. Anthony, some lines you should practice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, Maddie, you're right. Again. But never say, I'm sorry you're being so difficult. <laughs> Lastly, in my best Polish, Stola na to 200 years and cheers. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and old-fashioned enough to last forever. All my love to the both of you.